Let's speak to Gila Delva, who's the host of Radio Karayib and joins us now from Port-au-Prince. Uh, Gila, we can see from the pictures that the people are having to wade through the streets. What are the conditions like right now? Yeah, the situation is very ugly, particularly in the southern part of Haiti, uh, where the, hur the hurricane uh, hit first. Uh, there are people uh, who have to, to flood their homes, uh, even though they were reluctant uh, before to leave their houses. Now, uh, when they saw that uh, it was very serious, they had to flee their homes to uh, shelters set up by the government. Now you have uh, about 11 uh, towns in the southern region that have been flooded, and uh, there are rooftops that have gone, uh, gone away taken away by, uh, the, by the gusts of winds. Uh, you have uh, trees in, uh, that, are fall, that have fallen down, and you have uh, crops that have been destroyed in the southern part of Haiti. And uh, the hurricane is still over the southern part of Haiti and coming towards uh, the capital and uh, up to the north before reaching the coast of Cuba. Uh, the situation is very difficult. Now you have uh, the government uh, uh, preparing to uh, provide a response, uh, particularly in areas uh, that uh, are uh, particularly hit, uh, particularly in the southern part of, of the country. Uh, you have two people who have been killed uh, in the south. Uh, uh, they were on the ocean trying to fish. I mean, one of them who, uh, who died uh, in, on the ocean while he was trying to fish uh, over the weekend. And another one was uh, sick and was at home when the waves, the big waves, uh, destroyed uh, his house and killed him uh, uh, immediately. So two people were killed and one yeah. is missing in the southern region. Uh, that, that sounds uh, really bad, Gile. You were telling me yesterday that there were people who didn't want to be evacuated from coastal areas because they didn't want to leave their properties behind. Were they moved in the end? Yeah, uh, some of them, I mean, many of them uh, agreed, decided to leave uh, voluntarily. Uh, others uh, were received uh, at uh, shelters set up by the government, but others decided to go to the to the homes of relatives that are in safer places. Uh, but they were, as I said before, they were very re reluctant to leave their homes because they believe people could steal their belongings. Uh, but when they realized that uh, the winds were coming, that the water was, uh, the sea level was rising, and actually the, the, the water from the ocean was coming their way, they had to flee and try to find shelters where they could. Gila, thank you very much indeed for updating us there. Gila Delver speaking to us from Port-au-Prince there.